Have you ever felt this? You're pushing right on the limit, but your lap time just isn't improving. The problem might not be your throttle input, and not your steering either. It could be that your tires aren't working at the correct slip angle. Slip angle is the angle between where the tire is pointing and the actual direction the car is traveling. When you start quartering at speed, the tire doesn't instantly lose grip. Instead, it deforms and gradually builds up lateral force. This deformation is what allows the tire to produce more lateral grip at the limit. But here's the key point. A bigger slip angle isn't always better. Different tire compounds have different optimal slip angles, and a tire can only produce maximum traction within its ideal slip angle range. Once you go beyond it, the grip actually starts to fall off. Using some iRacing cars as an example, beginners usually drive with low slip angles. The tires aren't fully utilized, and the pace just isn't there. Experienced drivers also avoid overdriving the tire. They keep the slip angle within the optimal working range. Overpushing may look just as fast on the corner, but tire temperature and wear are already getting worse. You'll notice that two driving styles can have very similar corner speeds, but with different slip angles, the tire's working efficiency is completely different. The goal isn't to chase a bigger slip angle. It's to use the smallest slip angle possible to achieve maximum traction. Fast drivers rely on experience to manage tire temperature and wear, adjusting their pace throughout a stint, keeping the tire working in its most efficient slip angle window. So if you feel like you're already driving at the limit, but your lap time just won't improve, take a look at your slip angle mid-quarter. Is it working the way it should? Learn to control the slip angle and speed will come naturally.